Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How's it going, Good evening. people? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you doing today? Excellent. So, so. So, so. So, so. Why so, so, people? So, so. What happened? You have to be excellent. You say, nice teacher, ready for the class. What happened? <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's the attitude. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. I see that more people are getting in. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate your punctuality. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much for your punctuality. And also, thank you so much for your help with a complete name in the user name. Thank you so much. I appreciate that really, really much. Let's see. Um, we're going to get started at this moment with the information for the attendance. As you know, we're going to be checking on this one. So when you listen to your name, please uh, make a verbal confirmation that you are at this moment in the video conference. Let me get my document ready. Perfect. All right, thank you so much. At this moment, I begin with the attendance. Remember when you listen, make a verbal confirmation that you're here. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Luis Serbano. Mr. Carlos Luis Serbano. At this moment, I continue. Carlos Roberto Nerio. Thank you. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present. Thank you so much. Francisco Isaac Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Georgina Ivania Guzman. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Senaida Sterli Gonzalez. Senaida Sterle Gonzalez, not at this moment, I guess. I continue. Guadalupe Lisette Soriano Elias. Present. Thank you. Yvonne Melina Aviles. Present. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Thank you, thank you so much. Jose Luis Gomez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jose Moises Paz Chavarria. Jose Moises Paz Chavarria. All right, I continue. Jose Roberto Ruiz Duarte. José Roberto Ruiz Duarte. Let me continue. José Roberto Vázquez Jiménez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco González. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Julio César Hernández. Cesar, not available. Karina Yvonne Linares. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Mercedes Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Madeline Lisette Montalban. Madeline Lisette. Margarita Lisset Medina. 
Margarita Lisset Medina. Marvin Alberto Calderón. Present teacher. Tomás Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Roxana Patricia López. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Senia Patricia Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Jancy Maria Jacobo. I guess she's not available. And finally, I have Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. <clears throat> Yesenia teacher. Elizabeth. Yes, yes, yes. Excuse me. Uh, my name is Carlos Luis Serbano. All right, thank you. En este momento, Mr. Carlos, ya pasé asistencia y su nombre lo mencioné. Nada oh, más. Perfecto. Exacto, ya pasé la asistencia. No se preocupe, su registro queda desde que usted inicia sesión. Al final de la sesión yo vuelvo a pasar asistencia y ahí me puede volver a confirmar, ¿verdad? Así que cuando okay. se, se incorpore, si ya hemos pasado asistencia, no se preocupe que sus minutos siempre son contabilizados desde que usted ingresa a la plataforma. Right? Ok. But thank you thank so much. You. Muchas gracias también por el interés y por reportarse. Le agradezco. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Check on this one, people. As I mentioned before. <coughs> Sorry. Welcome, everyone. For today's class. Today's, class, today's session. All right. Thank you so much. I see that we have many people at this moment. Let me see. 26, perfect, perfect. That's a good number of people. Uh, just the, the commercial as always, remember on the work in the platform, remember to complete on the information. I was checking, some of you already finished. Some of you are about to finish, close to finish, and that's really nice. But some people are still working. So my suggestion for you, don't forget about getting to work on the on the on the platform, please. Please, please, please. Right? Nada más hacerles el, el anuncio, ¿verdad? El anuncio eh, que de todas las noches. Felicitarles a varios. Yo he visto que algunos ya han terminado su, su progreso en la plataforma. Eso es muy bueno. Y tienen calificación 100 en todo, ¿verdad? 100, 100, 100. Eso es muy bueno porque muestra el interés y el compromiso que usted tiene con aprender un idioma. Igual la vemos otros que van en progreso y hay otros que todavía vamos un tantito a paso lento. Así que animarles, recordando que esta que es semana 3, nosotros ya tenemos que estar trabajando como mínimo en la sección o tarea 4. Quiere decir que la tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3 y el examen de medio curso ya, se debe, ya debe estar completo. Así que animarles a revisar la información y trabajar para no, uh, para llevar siempre el mismo ritmo, ¿verdad? Que usted vaya con los contenidos y acá, como recuerde, tenemos más práctica de la información. All right, let me check on this one. All right, excellent. Uh, can you see my presentation at this moment, people? Is it possible to see? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much for your consideration. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes, you. teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for your contribution. At this moment, we're going to check on session number 10. And uh, before I continue, please, I need your collaboration on the microphone, please. Hello, hello, please, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. I need your help. Necesito su colaboración, por favor, con sus micrófonos. Si son muy amables. Muchas gracias. Gracias, ahí todo por ahí, muchas gracias. Recordando que a veces nosotros no percibimos el sonido, eh, tal cual el sonido ambiente, pero para los demás compañeros que están en clase, sí logran escucharlo, así que pedirles y hacerles un amable y atento llamado ah, con el micrófono. Please, please, please. All right. 
Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias por atender el llamado. Let's see. Uh, as I mentioned before, we talk about session number 10 for the beginning module number one. Check on this one. We're going to begin working with some vocabulary and we're going to check about information about the colors. I, I know that is something that you know already, but this is going to be a different form to mention the name of the color. As you can see on the screen, you see a short description of an object or, or a fruit, right? And I want you to think about the color of that object, right? Not the name of the object, the color. Let's do the first one together and I can help you. Take a look at this one, the description. It is a fruit, it is long, and it has a curve, right? Not a straight, right? Not a straight, it's curved. Right, a core shape, right? Think about it, listen to the description. It is a fruit, it is long, and the, and the form is curve, right? A curve yeah. shape. What color probably are we talking about? Yellow. 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 Excellent people, my goodness. Perfect, it's talking about yellow. Take a look at the description, you see? It's a fruit. It is long. It has banana. a curve. It's a curve shape. Yeah, talking about vocabulary is banana. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Let's continue with the next one. We do the same. Check on this. It's a verb, you know. It's a verb. It has long legs, right? Long legs. And it usually extends on one leg, right? It's a verb. And it's usually like that one, right? Let me see, in one leg, right? Imagine this is the bird, and it's usually Black. in this form. What color are we talking about? White. Pink. Pink. White. Pink. 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 White. It could be white, it's possible. It could be white. And it's pink. possible to say about pink. Perfect. White, white and black. White and black might be possible. In this one, I was thinking about color pink, talking about a flamingo, all right? Thank you. Hey, good job, people. Thank you so much. Check on the other one. At this moment, I'm checking if you remember the colors, right? Because I know you're, it's a piece of cake, right? Yo sé que los colores están comidos. Yo sé que ya se los pueden, ya los han revisado, ¿verdad? For that case, I am working on an interactive activity. Por eso estoy tratando de ponerle un poquito más de reto a comprender cuál es el, el, la descripción y tratar de pensar en un color. Take a look at the next one, please. It is a huge, huge is really big, big. It is a huge animal. It has long ears. This animal has good memory, good memory. What color are we talking about? Great. 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 Thank you. Elephant. Thank you. Great. Perfect. Good job, people. Elephant. Thank you so much. Check on the next one. It is a flower. It represents the color of love. Rose. You give Red. this one to someone Red. special. Color? Red. Red. Yeah. And talking about what, no. what flower? Pink. Pink. It could be possible. Orange. Right? It could be. There are, di there are different yeah. colors. Different colors. For, Black, the, for, the, yeah. for the marketing Blue, purpose. White. We have, even we have rainbow, rainbow roses. A rose yeah. of different colors. Different yeah. colors. Yellow. And this rose. one that is just an idea, right? It's como una different idea. Color. ¿Verdad? De mercadeo que nos venden que el color rojo es el amor y que no sé qué, pasión y toda la cosa. But it depends on perspective, ¿verdad? Para, eh, puede different ser, colors. Different colors. Different perspective. Tal vez a usted no le gusta una rosa roja y usted dice, a mí las rosas blancas, pues conmigo quedan bien. No problem, right? It depends on that one. It's about perception. But in this one, as a general idea, we talk about red and we talk about a rose. I guess this is the last one. Check on this one. It is a fruit. It has a round shape. It is very juicy, right? A lot of water in this, in this fruit. It is very juicy. It has right. a small 
black seeds. Tiene semillitas negras adentro. What color is, is the outside of the fruit? ¿Qué color será el? Purple. El, Green. Purple. Purple. Ah, in this case, it could be green. Green. Right? Green. Kiwi. Kiwi. No. Yeah. <laughs> watermelon. I was, I was thinking, to be honest, on a watermelon. Mm. But your description could be perfect. No problem. No problem. Right? There are some other fruits that can be similar to that one. Thank you so much. Right? Brown shape. Watermelon is red. Uh, but outside. Or out, inside, sorry, inside. <laughs> it could be possible. It could be possible. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Check on this one. Uh, now this is the other one. It is a small, small round fruit. It is used to make Purple. wine. Purple. 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 Thank you. Purple. Ah, perfect. <laughs> I'm excited, right? Purple. <laughs> Great. Relax, people. People, it's not Friday yet. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's just Tuesday at this moment. Thank you. That's fine. That is the one, right? It is a small round fruit. It is used to make wine. And you mentioned the color purple. And the fruit, right, is on this one. Thank you so much. Well done. Well done. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. That was just the introduction, you know, to get information and to get it started. For today we're going to check on some info and that is the present continuous statements. In this one, uh, in section number four, you talk about how to describe what the people wear, right? The, the clothes that the people have in one specific moment. That is how we're going to use on this one. Take a look at the information that I have for you, All right? Take a look at this lady, right? I have a representation of a person at this moment. And I am going to describe, because yesterday we were checking on vocabulary on how to describe the clothes. This is my example. She is wearing a blue tie, right? I am talking about the different objects or the, the clothing items. And I include the color. Right, now that we checked on this one, it's relevant and important to mention on this. Let's see. I am going to ask for volunteers. Miss Sara Guzman, tell me, Miss Sara Guzman, what is other description about the clothing she is wearing at this moment? I have the first idea. She is wearing a blue tie. Tell me other description she's wearing, about the clothing. Uh, a scarf. A scarf, that is a tie, I'm sorry, that is a tie. She's wearing a blouse. A blouse. A blouse. Uh -huh. And what blouse. color is the blouse? Tell me the combination of color and the object. Color, celeste, no sé cómo se how do, you, how do you say that one? I, any volunteer to help? Blue, light. Light blue. Light, light blue. blue, thank blue. you. Light mm -hmm. blue. Like, 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 your idea in this context, Miss Guzman, is this one. She is wearing a light blue blouse. A light blue blouse. Tell me the sentence one more time, Miss Guzman. What is she wearing? Tell me. She's wearing. She is wearing a light blue, a light blue blouse. Blouse. Thank you. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect, perfect. I continue asking on some people at this moment. Miss Lucila Quinteros, tell me other description about the clothing she has. Uh, check on the microphone, Miss Lucila, please, please, please. Thank you. Uh, she's wearing... Um... A brown wallet. A brown, sorry, a brown? Wallet. Brown wallet, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just double checking on this one. For, I guess, it's like a purse, I guess, right? Sería como un bolso, según yo creo, ¿verdad? Wallet is smaller, right? Wallet. And for the majority of ladies, we call it a purse. Purse, sería un bolso, right? A brown purse. 
Can you tell me the complete sentence, Miss Lucila, one more time? She's wearing a brown purse. Thank you. She's wearing a brown purse. Brown purse. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see on this one. I continue asking, Mr. Jose Roberto Vasquez, tell me. What else is she wearing? Cállese. She is wearing a black tie. She's wearing a black tie. All right. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let's continue asking on more people. Miss Carla Mercedes, tell me, continue with the description. She is wearing. She is wearing a black high heels. Black heel high. All right. She is ah, wearing. Uh -huh. Thank you. She is wearing black high heels. Thank you so much. High heels. High heels. Nice. Just check on that high one heels. in the sentence for a high heels because it is plural. The word a is not necessary. A high heels. No. You only mentioned high heels, right? Check on that one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Francisco Isaac, tell me what else? Tell me other description. She is wearing. Wearing brown high heels. Brown high heels, all right. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Now, as you can see in this case, we're uh, using affirmative sentences to mention what she is wearing. Question, uh, is she wearing uh, jeans? No, she's, no, she's not. No, she's not. What is she wearing? How do you gray call pants. Gray, gray pants. Gray pants. Gray pants. Thank you. Gray nice. Gray, gray Excellent. When you talk about the material, you know, in this one, they are formal. We talk about pants, not jeans, right? Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Check on this one. Also, it is possible to say something that she is not wearing using the negative structure to mention something she is not wearing. For example, she is not wearing shorts. That is my idea, right? She is not wearing shorts. Carlos Roberto Nerio, tell me something that she is not wearing, please. Okay. She is not wearing a jacket. Right, excellent. She's not wearing a jacket. Thank you. Miss Roxana Patricia Lopez. Tell me other, please. Something that she's not wearing at this moment. She is not wearing uh, a sneaker. Sneakers, right? Thank you so much. She's not wearing sneakers. Thank you. Just check on that one. Similar when you say shoes, it's plural. A sneakers is plural. A uh, is not necessary. She's wearing, she's not wearing sneakers. No, ah, right? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I continue asking more people on this exercise. Jose Luis Gomez, tell me other thing that she is not wearing at this moment. She is not wearing a scarf. Excellent. She is not wearing a scarf. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much for the people who participated. Thank you. Take a look at this one. I also included other idea. She is not wearing a dress, right? Not a dress. Take a look at this one. It is possible to talk about the clothes for a boy as well. Miss Gabriela Esther Ponce. We go for affirmative. Are you happy for the picture of the boy? People, I see the ladies. Wow, with that. It's handsome. Ah, my goodness, ladies. <laughs> That's why no problem. That's why I selected. I said motivation for the ladies. Ah, you see? <laughs> no problem. All right. You say hi, good looking. Remember the adjectives? Good looking. Ah, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Gabriela, um, he, affirmative sentence. She he is wearing. He is wearing tennis. Tennis, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's see. Ricardo de Jesus, tell me other sentence in the affirmative form. He is wearing uh, uh, sunglasses. He's wearing some glasses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about other description, Miss Milagro de Los Angeles? Uh, 
He's wearing. Shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, a shirt. Una camisa. A shirt. Sí, a shirt. All sí. right. Sí. Tell me the He's color. Wearing a shirt. Excellent. Can you Blue. include the color? Excellent. Blue shirt. Thank you. Thank you so much. I continue asking the last person for this uh, for this picture in the affirmative. Senia Patricia, tell me other sentence in affirmative, please. Check on the microphone, please, please, please. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, He okay. is wearing mm -hmm. uh, brown sunglasses. Brown sunglasses. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. At this moment, I have this information. My sneaker. He is wearing white sneakers, right? Remember to include the color to be very specific when you talk about the clothing items. Thank you. Let's go for the opposite. Negative sentence at this moment. He is not wearing, right? Something that he is not wearing at this moment. And I am going to ask at this moment, let me see more people. Uh, Lisette Esmeralda, please, I need your collaboration to create okay. negative sentences. He is not wearing. He is not wearing jacket. A jacket, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yesenia Elizabeth, okay. other sentence in the negative form, please. Hello, hello, Yesenia. All right, probably not available at this moment. Don't worry. I continue asking, what about you, Ever Alexander Cabrera? Tell me a negative sentence. He is not wearing. He is not wearing a hat. Excellent. He is not wearing a hat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. I have an idea in this one. He is not wearing shorts, right? That is my idea. But thank you so much, everyone. Well done. As you can see on this structure, we need to consider all the, the necessary elements when you report information about what the person is wearing. And as you can see, in the sentence, there are very important elements that we need to include every time we express an idea. For example, in this one, the structure that we need to create is the subject, the verb be, after that one, because we're describing the clothing items, we need the, the action or we need the verb wear in the ing, that's wearing. And finally, we need a complement. In this case, the complement, we mentioned the, the clothing item, shirt, skirt, high heels, glasses. And now that we checked on the colors, it is really nice to include the information for the colors. As you can see in this one, just to make a review on the verb to be, right? Check on that one. I am, you are, he is, she is, we are, they are. That is the combination of subject and verb to be. And the next one, talking about wearing, wearing for all of them, right? Any question about this information at this moment? Questions, questions so far? Teacher, yes, yes, yes. And when se usa wearing y mm -hmm. cuando también son accesorios, por ejemplo, earring, watches. Yes, 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 yes. That's a good. That's a good question. It is correct. In this case, when you mention about the accessories, yes, you talk about wearing. You can wear glasses. You can wear a bracelet, a necklace. That is what you use. The same verb. The same action. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Remember on this one, right? To use the verb wearing, right? Wearing, that is the one, right? Any other question about this information? Um, yo tengo una pregunta. Go ahead, sure. tell me your question. Eh, okay, el wearing, mm -hmm. eh, si no mal recuerdo, eh, también tiene el significado como de agotador, agotamiento, si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, 
no sé, fuese eh, quizás, eh, ¿cómo sería si se, si se encontraran las dos palabras, el wearing de agotador con el wearing de, 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 de usar, de vestir? Exacto. In this case, and everything depends on the context. That is the important element, the context. And as you can see, you are going to know the meaning of the verb depending on the complement as well. Right? When you see mm -hmm. the complement, in that case, you say, ah, oh, you are checking about the action to have clothes on you, right? Wearing. Mm -hmm. Or if we, or okay. imagine if I am talking about the machine, right? And I tell you, hey, the machine is wearing off, right? Or something like that. También wear significa como desgaste, hablando de maquinaria. Ahí el, ah, complement, okay. el complemento va a ser el que nos va a dar la, 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 la pauta para saber qué contexto estamos utilizando. Si yo solo, ah, okay. solo utilizo el, el, el verbo wear, porque algunos verbos eh, tienen diferente significado o algunas palabras igualmente. Entonces ahí va a depender del complemento y ahí rapidito uno identifica a qué hace referencia. Uh -huh. Okay, gracias. My gracias. pleasure, my pleasure. Any other question at this moment for the present, for the present continuous at this moment? Question, okay, question. Thank you so much for your confirmation. What about the rest of the people? Is there any other question? Not at this moment, I guess, right? I see that you are okay with the information thank you thank you thank you perfect perfect at this moment we're going to move to the next activity and we're going to have the chance to participate and to speak to our classmates remember the objective of these classes is to make a quick review right to clarify doubts but the most important part is that you speak and i listen to you at this moment we check on the speaking practice And this is what we do. We are going to work in a small groups, three people approximately, three people in one group. And you are going to describe what your classmate is wearing. And also we are going to include, just to practice the negative, we are going to include information about what the person is not wearing. That's why we're going to use the cameras. So you see on your classmate, right? You give a description. Dele una descripción. Vamos a trabajar en pequeños grupos. El objetivo es describir lo que la otra persona eh, está vistiendo en este momento, ¿verdad? Ese es el objetivo. Es lo que usted logre ver en su cámara. Tenga cuidado que si anda en chorcito por ahí y se me levanta y por enseñarle la ropa, tenga cuidado, no se vaya a comprometer. ¿va? Solo le hago el comentario. All right. Para ti, por lo menos de la parte superior, ¿verdad? Y ahí sí no hay problema. All right. But that is what we do. Right? You take a look at that one. You take a look at your classmate and you describe. Ese es el objetivo. Vamos a describir lo que sus compañeros están vistiendo en este momento. And you include negative sentences as well. Right? Para practicar el negativo, también vamos a utilizar oraciones en negativo. How do we do it? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Lo vamos a hacer como que fuera tercera persona. Por ejemplo, at this moment, I can see, I will choose uh one person as an example let me see all right i am going to use mr carlos luis Cervano as an example lo voy a describir a usted mr carlos solo por ejemplo ahí nada más okay. estamos viendo all right okay uh, that's fine thank you thank you at this moment i see he is carlos is wearing a white t-shirt all right yes And also I see that he is wearing, I guess, a black, a black cap, if I am not mistaken, or gray, yes, right? yes. something like that. All right. Perfect. You okay. see, I have the information and I go for the negative. Carlos is not wearing glasses at this moment. Yes. Carlos is not wearing a necklace, right? No, es, no está utilizando un collar, pero no tiene un collar que yo vea. And also, no. I guess he is not wearing a watch, right? He is not wearing a watch. Creo que no anda reloj. No. Eso es lo que yo creo. Okay? No. That is the information that you do. You give a description to your classmates. And if you're going to do it in that way to participate and you practice the structure. Is there any question about this activity, people? 
Questions, questions before we start? No. Yes. No. All no. right. Thank you. Let me see on this one. <clears throat> all right perfect thank you so much at this moment we begin working and remember to give the description and i will be monitoring you and i am going to be there to help you if necessary we begin working at this moment thank you so much Blue, 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 no, blue, 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 Remember, well, please, it's wearing. Ah, uh -huh, excellent. Carla is wearing blue clothes. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Continue. More descriptions, people. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she is wearing. Uh -huh. Ah, ya no le veo. Ya no la veo. Earrings? <laughs> Earrings? Ah, Earrings. ¿Para qué andan uh, aritos? No. No, no van. Va, las negativas. Va. Ah, the negative. Las negativas, cabal. Carla, Carla is not wearing a dress. Ah, uh, uh, hat. A hat, all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. She is not wearing a um, dress. All right, excellent. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Continue working like that, ladies. You're doing a nice job. Thank you so much. Okay. okay. <laughs> bye, Carla. Bye. bye. She's wearing um glasses. Glasses. Um. She's not wearing a, sc a scarf. She's not wearing um, a blouse. Um, that's it. <laughs> Next. Yo describo a Don Francisco. Okay. Okay. Chenia, escucho. <laughs> Hágase para casito que no le veo bien. Nice. <laughs> hasta ahí, hasta ahí. Hasta ahí, dice. <laughs> Pues sí, ya, yeah, bárbaro. Pa. Full description, thank you. <laughs> She's, uh, no, perdón, he sí. is uh, wearing uh -huh. uh, t-shirt uh, white. White t-shirt, change the order. With White ah, okay. t-shirt. Uh -huh. Cambiamos el orden. White t-shirt. All right, thank you. T-shirt. Este, uh -huh. ¿Qué más tiene? He is a short. Blue he short. Wearing, he is wearing. 
shorts, blue he shorts. Is, he is uh, wearing uh -huh. a blue shirt. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, he is not mm -hmm. um, cap. He is not wearing a cap. Okay. Uh -huh. He is not wearing a cap. Excellent. Perfect. Remember to yeah. include the complete structure. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué más? He is not wearing a suit. He's not wearing a suit. All right. Thank you. A suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. Suit. He is not wearing a jacket. Yes. He's a good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Continue working Next. hard, people. You are doing a nice job. Continue. Remember to give a complete structure. La, lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Nada más recordar utilizar la estructura so, so. completa, ¿verdad? Eso okay. so. No se le olvide por so, ahí so. el wearing, mi senia. Wearing, sí. Y bastante bien, ¿verdad? Excelente. Sí. Thank you. Bueno. Me está fallando. Uh, uh, ever I... I wearing a uh, uh, red t-shirt. Yes, yes. Uh, and then why so wearing a uh, jacket? Yeah. Uh, uh, wearing a uh, Ever, I, I, um, ever not wearing pants? Not wearing, really ever, you're not wearing pants. Don't yes. show me. No nos muestre, uh -huh. solo confirmenos, porfa. <laughs> <laughs> no nos vaya. <laughs> That's enough. The, the verbal confirmation is <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Okay, I am no wearing. No se vaya a I am wearing shorts. Ah, right, thank you so much. Thank you. All yeah. right. I'm not wearing clothes. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> people, that is too much information. Come on. No, please. You say, oh, my eyes. Right. It's all. <laughs> <risa> ok, Senia, si, si se están mal, si están portando mal estos muchachos, me avisa, por fin, la saco de la sala rapidito, no voy a hacer. <risa> Thank you. Siempre la, si necesita ayuda, la saco de la sala, no se preocupe. <risa> Uh, All right, perfect. Thank okay. you. Continue working. Thank you so much. Good job, people. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, sí. Roberto is wearing a, a white shirt. Roberto is wearing a brown pant, etc. All right. If you want, you can do the sentence in this moment. Hello, hello. How are you doing with the practice, people? Hello. Excellent. Good, good. 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 See, good. Nice, good. nice. Thank you, Miss uh, Miss Georgina. If you can uh, express probably one sent one affirmative and one negative sentence about Jose Roberto, please. Um, Roberto is uh, wearing mm -hmm. um, pants brown. Brown, he's wearing brown pants. You change the order. En este caso, los adjetivos, o, o en el inglés, ¿verdad? Los adjetivos se mencionan antes de lo que está describiendo, diferente del español. Entonces, sí, sí, y los colores, ajá, y lo, no, no se preocupe, nada más dándole la retroalimentación por si no, no nos recordamos del detalle, ¿verdad? El color iría antes, brown pants. Uh -huh. And one negative, please. Something that Roberto is not wearing at this Ro moment. Roberto is is not wearing a hat. 
a hat. All right, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. And Roberto, the same. One affirmative, one negative sentence about Georgina, please. Okay, the affirmative sentence is Georgina is wearing black shirt. Black shirt, uh-huh. And the negative is Georgina is not wearing a sunglasses. Is not wearing sunglasses. Check, sunglasses. In this, uh -huh. Check on that one because sunglasses is plural. It is not necessary to say, ah, ah sunglasses. No, right? She is not wearing sunglasses. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Continue describing. Thank you so much for the practice. Well done. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ah, por, por, porque empieza. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, welcome. Hello. Okay. Uh, Karina is not wearing a uh, blouse blue. Mm -hmm. uh, Yvonne is not wearing a uh, red pants. Red pants. Wearing red pants. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ahora, eh, Lucila is not wearing a, a cap. A cap. And how do you know? I cannot see Lucila. Yo no veo a Lucila. ¿Y cómo sabe que no tiene una, 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 una que ella nos describió ¿sabes? cómo anda. Yo <risa> 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 tengo problemas con la cámara. All right, no Dale. problem. <risa> dígale okay, dígale no cómo problem. anda Lucila. <risa> Perfect. <risa> hoy sí la vemos, hoy sí la Excellent. vemos. Sí, cuando me falla el interés que se apaga la cámara. It's possible. Ahorita, por ejemplo. A veces cuando la conexión baja la, la velocidad, que eso es natural, ¿verdad? A veces eh, la cámara es la primera afectada. Pero muchas gracias. Just giving you on feedback on this one. Just remember when you mention the color of the clothing item, remember the first element is the color. For example, you say a uh, blue blouse, a uh, red pants, you know, yellow shorts. The color goes first and then the object, right? Yeah. Different than in Spanish. In Spanish is different. The color goes at the end, ¿verdad? En español nosotros el color lo decimos después, ¿verdad? Que sería una descripción. Una camisa roja, un carro azul, unos zapatos negros. No decimos unos negros zapatos. No decimos una uh, verde falda. Uh, we don't go like that, right? In English, the, the order is different. Nada más el orden cambia en inglés. Cuando incluimos, en este caso, el color. And the other okay. element, right? The other important element to consider, when you make reference to something in plural, the article A is not necessary. For example, if you say jeans, jeans is plural. A jeans, not, not a good combination. You say only jeans. For example, shoes, plural. You don't say a shoes, no a, because that is plural, right? El A tiene un trasfondo o un contexto de decir uno, hablando de cantidad, un o una. Entonces, si el siguiente elemento es plural, ya no pega la información. Como que yo le dijera, un zapatos, ¿verdad? Un pantalones, doesn't, doesn't match, right? Ya no hace juego con, ese, con, con, ese, con, con la cantidad, ¿verdad? De lo que estamos diciendo. Entonces, ¿Y si le ponemos color al jeans? Igual. Ah, igual, igual, porque el okay. color sí sería como algo extra, pero no uh -huh. entra en la categoría de cantidad. Entonces ahí solo nos quedamos okay. con el color. Por ejemplo, she, uh, she is wearing black jeans. Right? Yo le puse el color, pero jeans es plural, no necesito A. En ese caso. A no. black jeans no necesito. Ajá, exacto, no necesitamos A. Exacto, porque el siguiente elemento es plural. Entonces no. Si hablamos solo de uno, por ejemplo, una camisa. Eh, si hablamos de tal vez una pulsera, en, en ese caso sí. Por ejemplo, uh, I can say Blusila, uh, sorry, Yvonne is wearing a black blouse. Ahí sí, blouse se considera singular, ¿verdad? En ese caso, a black blouse. Ese sería el orden, ¿verdad? Pero porque estamos hablando de uno. Si es plural, no lo necesitamos. Jeans, glasses, shoes. Uh, shorts, uh -huh. ese, eso se considera plurales, entonces no utilizamos el artículo A para esos casos. All right? Perfect. Okay. Thank continue. You. Thank you. Continue working. You're doing really nice. Keep up the, the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 
shorts. Ahí vamos de nuevo. Uh -huh. They are wearing shorts. Ahí vamos. So, he is wearing a green t-shirt. Um, hello, hello Bye. people, how are you doing? Excellent hello. with the practice? Bye. Yes. Yes. I listen to you, thank you so much. Continue and I listen to your information, please. Okay, este Gonzalo is wearing <laughs> yes. a, a cheer, a, a white cheer. All right, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Now Marvin, <laughs> ahora Marvin, describilo. <laughs> <laughs> Uno nuevo ahí para practicar. Yes, excellent. Yes, uh, Gonzalo is wearing a headphones. Is wearing. Headphones, right? Headphones. Exactly. Okay, see. Sí. Exactly. Yes, a plural. It's plural, exactly, exactly. Take a look at this one. I am going to change because I have other, right? I am going to show it to you, right? Let's see. Uh -huh. okay. Let's pretend, right? Let's pretend. No me la voy a poner ni me la voy a quitar uh -huh. ahorita, solo suponiendo, right? Just for more practice, <laughs> yes, yes. right? Es que hay unos compañeros que escuchan que se van levantando y toda la cosa. No, pero le digo tranquilo, le digo relax. <laughs> All right. What description can Gonzalo you Gonzalo is wearing a red shirt. A red shirt. Excellent. Thank yes. you so much. Perfect, perfect. Nice job. Eh, Go mm -hmm. Gonzalo is not wearing mm -hmm. a cap. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gonzalo is not wearing um, a scarf. A scarf. Excellent. Thank you so much. Well done, people. Perfect, perfect. Continue working hard. Nice job. Gonzalo is not wearing a hat. Thank you. Thank That's you. Correct. Excellent. Thank you so much, people. I will check okay. on the rest. Thank you. Nice job. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. 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 Is wearing. Yesenia escribiendo oraciones porque tiene problemas. Con papel y plumón. No problem. That's okay. That's okay. I, I want Una to pregunta, I teacher. Manera... Go ahead. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. En el caso de cuando se ocupa a a one a one. para el complemento a one. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. In... Eh, ¿Cuándo sería? ¿Cómo, cómo uh -huh. saber cuándo utilizar All right. esa... Los artículos, esos son artículos indefinidos. Artículos, ajá. Uh -huh. Exacto. Uh -huh. In this case, we use indefinite articles when we make reference to only one object. For plurals, not possible. For that reason, oh, I okay. mentioned, for example, jeans is plural, a jeans, not possible. Glasses, plural. Pants is plural. Pants is plural, no a, right? In this case. Shoes, Shoes pants. Okay. Exactly. Por a los plurales okay. no utilizamos el artículo indefinido. ¿Y por qué? Oh, porque en, porque okay. el a o el an tiene un contexto de decir uno o una, ¿verdad? Entonces ya lleva como un contexto de cantidad, exacto, es singular. Y si, entonces si es no singular. ya no nos pega, como decir un zapatos, un pantalones ya no nos cuadra sí, la no, información no. de singular. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces, para los plurales. Por ejemplo, no Margarita is not wearing a hat. In this case, correct? A, a hat. A hat. The other information is to know about the pronunciation. A hat. A hat. The other is la H suena como J. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Excellent. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Nice job. Create a sentence. I and, want to listen to you. Uh -huh. In the case of Yesenia is not wearing a dress. Mm -hmm. A dress, yes. It's okay. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. In the case of the de la blusa de, de Margarita, uh -huh. el tirantillo is igual, blouse. It could, be a, blouse. it could be a blouse. O si no, en otros casos, utilizan como tank top. ¿Verdad? Que son como un poco más de centros. Top. 
Está un Bárbaro, top. Carlitos. Ay, eh. Anda bien, Carlitos, vaya, vieron, va. Sí. Eh, excelente. Sabe Ay, de no. prendas femeninas este Carlitos. Ok, mm. no vamos a averiguar cómo, no vamos a averiguar por no, qué, no, 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 no problem, no. right? <risa> Excelente. Me informo, me informo. Excelente. All right. Thank you so much, people. We return to the main room. Thank you so much for the practice. Okay. Welcome, welcome everyone for the main room. I appreciate your effort in the practice. I checked on the majority of you and you are doing really nice. So congratulations, congratulations on this topic. Well done, right? Felicitarles, pasé por la mayoría de los salones, de las mini salas y lo estamos haciendo muy bien. Así que felicitaciones y continuamos siempre dando lo mejor de nosotros. At this moment, I check on attendance. So when you listen to your name, remember, tell me present that you are in the class. Carlos Luis Cervano. Mr. Carlos Luis. Right, I continue. Thank you. Ya se durmió, teacher. Ya se nos fue este Mr. Carlos. No, tal vez problema de conexión. Tal vez problema de conexión. No problem. Carlos Roberto Neria. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Alexander Cabrera. Present. Thank you. Francisco Isaac Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Esther Ponce. Present teacher. Thank you. Georgina Ivania Guzmán. I guess she's here, but having problems. I creo que estaba por acá, pero me dice que tiene algunos problemas técnicos. Present. No, no. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Senaida Sterling González. She's here. Sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, Guadalupe Elisel Soriano. Present. Thank you. Yvonne Melina Avilés. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Natalie Carrillo. Present. Thank you. Jose Luis Gómez. Present. Thank you. Jose Moises Paz. Uh, I guess he's not available at this moment. Jose Roberto Ruiz. Not available. Jose Roberto Vasquez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Juan Francisco Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karina Ivonne Linares. Present. Thank you so much. Carla Mercedes Hernández. Present. Thank you. Lisette Esmeralda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucila Patricia Quinteros. I continue. Madeline Lisette Montalban. She's not available at this moment. Margarita, let's see, Margarita Lisette Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Alberto Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro de Los Ángeles Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present. All right. Roxana Patricia López. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Senia Patricia. Present. All right. And Yesenia Elizabeth Morales. All right. Thank you so much, Yesenia. I know you have some problems with the connection. Muchas gracias por su confirmación. All right, people, it was a pleasure to work with you this night. So have a good night today, today and tomorrow a beautiful day. Right? Pasen feliz noche, un bonito día mañana, y nos vemos, all right? Have a good, good night, night, people. Teacher. Thank good you. Night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.